Hello guys, it is Smitty Plays, and I am on my pff, Let's Play world, and I'm going to be going over five different types of armor. Now, in my opinion, these are the top five best armors, but there's probably other ones that people might consider better. I don't see how, but that's just my opinion. So each one I'm going to be showing you the extras of and what they and how to craft them. So um, I guess we'll start with this one. Shroomite armor. Shroomite armor is meant for ranged attacks, so more so like guns and stuff. Now I do have the Shroomite mask which does bullet damage. There's like a helmet and a headgear. One of them does rockets and one of them does uh arrow damage. I think headgear does the arrow damage and the helmet does the rocket damage, but don't quote me on that. And basically how you make this is some shroomite bars. Now how do you get shroomite bars from glowing mushrooms and those in one of the uh, auto hammers? But I will be showing you this. All you have to go is somewhere like a mithril anvil, which in my crappy chest world, chest area, not really my chest world. As you see, I've got them here, so I don't actually have enough to make a chest plate. But that doesn't matter, and I don't even know if it's called a chest plate. It's called a breastplate. My bad. Minecraft. <laughs> uh, Shroomite headgear, as I said, does arrow damage, and the helmet does the rocket damage. So you can make those, and they don't change any of the other special effects. But as you see, the set bonus is not moving, puts you in stealth mode, increasing the range ability to your targets. So let's actually grab out a gun here and let me just run around a little bit. And as I'm moving and flying, and hey look, my steampunker has arrived. I kind of killed them all. Um, so, except my party girl, because that's too rare. So I'm at 43 when I'm not moving. Now if I just like stop right here, and I give it a second, I'll turn invisible. Now my damage just went up to 58. So, that's pretty good, I, I think I have to say. And this thing about this, this is on a weak thing. If you have something like the sniper, it's going to go up so high, it's ridiculous. So, that's just a simple little thing that I recommend you guys get it if you're into ranged attacks. I mean, if you only have repeaters and stuff. I think if you only have repeaters and you use arrows, either you have the gesture arrows like I do. I don't even have a repeater on me, so don't ask me why I have those there. Or, uh, you're living in the past, man. So many great guns out there. I actually have the candy corn gun. I just took it out of my inventory at the time being. Because I really like my new chlorophyte bullets that I found out that I could make. So, well, let's move on to the next one. So, the next one would be my favorite armor. So, that would be turtle armor. Now, turtle armor is made with chlorophyte and turtle shells and then you get this beautiful turtle armor now turtle armor only has one type of helmet and as you see it gives them huge amount of defense versus this one doesn't give too much defense this doesn't give this one gives a good bit but these and these don't give all that much defense but that's the biggest thing is it gives you defense as you see now I'm up to 69 e and but Attackers also get damaged, so if I were to walk up to a mob, which I don't have any here, then I would get damaged. So, uh, let's actually, yeah, I might as well just show you how to craft them. There's not going to be really any mobs, because I'm in my safe haven, thanks to my NPCs. So, let's just go right here. As you see, there is only one type of helmet. And those are the armors. And while I have the chlorophyte in my inventory, since this is my next armor, I might as well show you guys chlorophyte shadow bow. You know what? That's pretty good. You should use that if you're into arrows. I didn't even know that existed. But as you see, the chlorophyte, you've got the greaves, the plate mail. Now, right now, I only have the mask, which is what I'm going to show you. But there's also the headgear and the helmet, which in or for magic and ranged. I just went with the melee and defense because I'm a melee kind of guy. And Andy, the cyborg, has arrived. That is awesome. Yeah, I don't even know why his name has all those dots in it. Anyway, so we can plop this back. And this one, I'm only going to plop one for you since I already showed you how it was made. And basically... It has a pretty cool effect, as you guys see, you can see the stats there. But this one has a pretty cool effect. 
This thing will shoot at mobs and do damage to them, as you see. Summons a powerful crystal leaf to shoot at en enemies nearby. So that's pretty awesome. I use this one a good bit, but it's not my favorite. I still think the turtles are my favorite just because of the defense. Now, Spectra, if you are into magic, this is definitely the one for you. Um, just, just ignore that. <laughs> anyway, so if you're into Spectra armor, this is definitely the one for you, since it, I mean, not Spectra armor, <laughs> magic damage. Um, it increases magic damage, range, all that for, for magic stuff. So... As you see, before it actually reloads, because I have it set to pause, uh, let's look at one of my favorite magic weapons. This is only at 102. As soon as I hit reload, I got all this extra mana, now up to 280, and I just went up to 117 on one of my favorite magic weapons. So, I think that's pretty awesome, and how to craft it, I will show you guys right here. I'm gonna end off this video very, very soon. So I might as well just plop this on and explain this and how to craft this and them at the both same time. Now basically the one that I just plopped on will allow you to have more than one minion. Why am I not using my raven staff? I don't even know. But if I come here I can make the spectra stuff. There's more stuff like pickaxes and they all give you range which is really nice. And basically the armor is made with ectoplasm and chlorophyte bars. Then, if I actually hit this right here, you can make the spooky armor using spooky wood. You need a total of, I believe, 750. That, that sounds about right to get the full set. So, it will probably take you two, maybe three pumpkin moons just to get that. I'm going to end off the video here, guys. Thank you for watching. And as you, get, I'm just going to show you this real quick. It increases minion damage by a ton so they will do way more that that never did that much so thank you for watching please subscribe favorite and if you're not watching this on my channel like you're watching it on the wiki please check out my channel i create more terraria content and other games thank you guys for watching this has been smitty plays peace out